Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, this episode, I actually just want to talk about the plans for the um, outside ponds. Uh, now that the weather is getting nice out, I want to start building this thing. So, first right here on the screen, we have the actual layout for the tub. So each one is 350 gallons. You have one here on the left, one here on the right. Now, you can tell that this one's lifted up. I believe it's about, I want to say about four inches taller than this one over here. They're both the same exact size. It's just lifted up on a platform. Uh, these have been sitting out since October uh, to fill up with water. And when it rains, the snow melted. And the water level is actually right about here on them. So the way it's going to work out is we have one down here, one over here. And we have the eight-gallon filter up here. Show the actual... Um, filter design in a few seconds if you can see right over here um, so this is how it's gonna work there's going to be a bulkhead right here on the bucket um, on the filter there's gonna be another bulkhead here on this one and then right here we have a pump so the pump is gonna pump the water up into the filter it's gonna be filtered down it's going to overflow coming down this way right into the 350 the first 350 then the water from this one is going to fall back down to this one down here in the 350. So, obviously water is going to evaporate since these are outside. And first one, these two right here, will always be full since the water is always going to be coming from this one. Um, they're going to fill, and as they fill, they overflow down. Same thing with this one. So eventually this water on this one will actually start to fall down. So all I have to do is uh, either let the rainwater replenish it or fill it myself. Um, I've had ponds outside before, and I never did water changes on them, so I don't plan on doing water changes on this. It's such a large amount of uh, water volume that nature itself could take care of that. So, this is the setup. Um, right now, what I'm thinking about is keeping breeding the guppies in this one and breeding the plecos in that one. The reason for this is that um, guppy fry are really small. And I don't want them going through the strainer right here into this tank. So if they're here, the pump actually has a sponge. So there's no way that the babies get, the fry gets sucked in and brought back up. So that's a setup for that. Uh, and now for the filter, um, this is going to be, this right here is a top view. And this is going to be a side view. So outside you have an 8-gallon bucket. This is pretty wide. And then inside of it we have a 10-gallon, 10-gallon, uh, a 5-gallon bucket. Um, and then right here is the bulkhead where the water will come out. And now here's the design. Right here, this is the hose bringing the water back from the bottom, uh, 350. And right here, this is the 5-gallon bucket. It's lifted up for one reason. I'll explain why in a second. But the water is going to be coming in through this way. There's only holes in the bottom, so the water has to come down through the bottom and then go right back up. The white pictures, the white pictures, the white colors is the this K1. Uh, I have a bunch of that, it's enough to filter, um, I believe, 500 gallons. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be maxing out the amount of fish that could, this setup could hold up. So I should be more than more than set on filtration. And right here, these are uh, these blue bio balls I have. And usually, the, it's, they're using trickle towers, but I use them for a different reason. Um, this, this filter is actually very similar to the one I used last year with slight modifications. So the way it's going to work is the water is going to come in. The pressure of the water coming down is actually going to keep the colonist K1 in motion. And the uh, solids will actually go down this way. But as they go through, um, the blue bio balls actually float on top. So any garbage will actually hit them. And usually the water pressure at this section is actually pretty slow down here at this bottom part. That all the solids actually just settle and stay to the bottom. This is the exact same way I had it last year except I would pump it out using a hose. I'll pump out all the solids. Think about this here actually putting, say, like on this side, anywhere on this, um, a little faucet where I'll just open it. This will drain down. All the solids come out. And that's how I would clean the filter out. And the bio balls will only just float here. The water will actually just slide through them. So it's still, it's still getting infiltration. But the main reason is them, for them is to slow down the water enough that all the uh, solids fall out. Um, the other thing is that the pump... That's bringing the water up. This guy right here bringing the water up is rated for 500. No, actually no. It's rated for 1,000 gallons per hour. 
it's a pretty heavy duty pretty heavy duty pump um it's only well the system's uh, 750 gallons if i don't include the filter so it's only rotating about 1.5 times per hour which i say is all right since it's going to be this is outdoors it's going to be raining all the time there's going to be evaporation so i don't think i needed anything crazier than that for example the uh, 30 gallon in my room um has a cascade 1000 which the water volume is being rotated at a crazy uh, rate. Um, also, the filter here doesn't have any air stones or anything. Uh, aeration is going to be done just from the water falling down. Lastly, uh, last met uh, method of filtration, this is going to be heavily planted. So we're going to have duckweed, uh, water lettuce, which is very popular, what I use every year, uh, guppy grass, uh, java fern, and I believe that's it as of plants maybe some java moss but that's gonna be it so that's the plans for this video I'm hoping it become uh, this video for this uh, project hopefully it becomes one of my most um, popular projects uh, before right now currently my most popular video is that of the uh, DIY uh, what's it called DIY uh, oh man Wow, I'm blanking right now. Over the top sump. Wow, that was bad. That was really bad. You can tell I'm tired. Um, so yeah, that was my popular video, but I'm hoping that this actually, the series actually becomes my most popular. So the plan right now is I just showed you guys the uh, the blueprints for it. Uh, by this time, the video is actually being recorded in the beginning of March. By the time this video comes out, it should be either end of March, beginning of April. The weather should be warm by now, by then. And... I should start building the system. All I have to do now is just drill the hole here, redo this one because it already has a hole from the, the existing filter, and they should be ready to go after the pump's put in. Uh, I'll start it up and let it go for about two weeks before anything goes into it, two to three weeks. So keep checking back so the series will continue, uh, and also like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys.